for the past two and a half years i had been making videos only in tamil the reason is obvious during that period not only that the whole world was facing an extraordinary man made situation but tamils were and are facing a greater existential threat from the brahmins who had been targeting tamils for the past 7 millennia ever since rama ventured into tamil land and got killed here let me repeat got killed here he was actually killed in the war that rama himself engineered out of extreme jealousy that he garnered against tamils in general and on tamil siddha in particular the reason for that extreme jealousy would soon be apparent to you hence i had to alert my fellow tamilians of the impending danger and hence to cater to that emergency i published those relevant research videos in tamil language only but many a people from across the globe had been constantly writing to me requesting me to publish my research videos in english too i can't ignore their long standing demand hence i have decided to publish my research videos in english too at least once every month why do i start this series with this title about a year ago i published a video titled shocking truth on 911 i hope that you have watched it if not do watch it it's a treasure i had mentioned in that video that jews never forget and never forgive it is that trait of the jews that is causing all the pains that the world had been undergoing all along yes something is terribly wrong with the jews i realized this during the past two and a half years of my research on their antics hence my opinion on them was not so bad before this period yes they created hierarchical division in the indian society through their four varna concept and kept themselves on the top of that hierarchy this division of indian people is a key point in the destruction of indian society preventing education for the lower ranks of that hierarchical pyramid and also preventing those people from attaining financial freedom by allowing them as a rule through their manu dharma to earn just enough for their daily survival a lot can be said of those bygone days and yet i never thought they were so bad but my research during the past two and a half years shockingly revealed their monstrous nature when i started my research work on politics and sociology i was not aware that the indian brahmins were actually of jewish origin i realized it very late hence my opinion about the jews in those days were very positive in fact i was very apologetic about the jews in those days as i sincerely believed in the official narrative that 6 million jews were killed by hitler i felt very sorry for them i had this idea till 2012 that was the decisive year it was that year that 4g internet was introduced in india it was that year that i came across the idea of secret societies for the first time i was shell shocked on realizing that the secret societies existed and they are in control of the whole world i then came to know that secret societies were linked to the jews it contrasted with the image i had about them till then i could not believe it easily hence i theorized that a small section of jews only were perverted and it was they who take part in the activities of the secret societies i held this idea for a couple of years then i realized that jews considered themselves as children of god and they also considered the rest of the people as mere goyim meaning cattle this was shocking to me having known well about the brahmins of india i then matched this jewish notion with the four varna concept of the brahmins according to it the brahmins were born from the mouth of brahma and sudras were born from the feet of brahma these two concepts were akin to each other that is the jews calling non jews as goyim and brahmins calling non brahmins as sudras again the jews calling themselves as children of god and brahmin calling themselves as children of brahma 
Hence, I slowly realized that the very foundation of Hinduism was actually Judaism. I then realized that it was not the Illuminati Jews alone who are bad, but the whole stock of the Jews are a problem society. Why is it so? It is because of the religion, Judaism. When the religious doctrine itself says that the Jews are a special people and the rest of the society were mere cattle, how would a normal Jew evolve? The religious doctrine was written by Moses who inflicted 10 plagues on the whole of the Egyptians, of course bearing the Jews, when the problem was only due to the king as per their own story. Why should common people suffer for the mistake of the king? Hence, something was terribly wrong with Moses. Then I researched and found that it was Moses who started the first ever secret society called Mason 3500 years ago. In fact, I published a research video long back that Moses was really the Dajjal of Islam even though Islamic theology doesn't say it explicitly. Hence, Dajjal wrote the religious doctrine of Judaism and it was natural that the Jews indoctrinated by the skewed religion would develop a skewed mentality. This is what I really understood by comparing the Jews with the Indian Brahmins. Even though the South Indian Brahmins were separated from their Jewish stock for the past 1800 years, their basic theology never swayed away from their own Judaism. I said that the foundation of Hinduism is Judaism. Actually, whatever the religion that the Jews migrate to, they see to that the foundation of that religion too is Judaism. That is the reason that Islamic theology is akin to Judaism in many counts. In fact, I came across the startling information that it was Catholicism of the Vatican which created Islam and I firmly believe in it. I have given the link to it in the description box. But Islam grew much beyond the expectation of the Vatican and as a result, the Islamic leaders disobeyed Vatican. That is the reason that Islam is being persecuted by the Jews ever since. In fact, most of the religions of the world were created by the Jews to control the respective population. The four major religions, Christianity, Islam, Mahayana Buddhism and Hinduism were created by the Jews themselves. Even the lesser religions like Jainism, Ajivika were also their creation. The original religion of the world was Asivaham and even the Asia continent was named after it. It was this Asivaham which went through some changes due to the dislocation of people from their native place and came to be called as pagan religion. The word pagan is of Tamil origin and it means the religion of multiple gods. If you want to know the correct concept of God, kindly watch my video titled Millennium Document on the Concept of God. This original Asivagam was destroyed in the 3rd century by Parasuram, the Jew, by ruthlessly impaling over 10,000 Tamil Siddha. In the following centuries, two religions were created by the Brahmins as a replacement to Asivagam and they were Jainism and Ajivika. Moreover, the gods of Asivagam were looted to create Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, etc. Sakya Buddhism was the original Buddhism created by Buddha and it was destroyed by killing all the monks by the Brahmins in the 1st century BC and a fake Buddhism called Mahayana Buddhism was created as replacement in the 1st century AD. Hence, every religion of today were created by the Jews to control the respective populations. It is hard to believe that a small community could accomplish so much. Their secret societies were instrumental in these hard to believe achievements. Yes, numerous secret societies that the Jews created accomplished these seemingly impossible things. The Hindu Mats and Rastriya Swayam Sevak Sangh are actually secret societies apart from the regular lodges of the secret societies in India. We shall now investigate the historical origin of the Jewish race. About 10,500 years ago, there was a huge meteor which hit the earth 
near Madagascar. This led to the elevation of Saharan plain and the Middle East region and the subsequent draining of water from the seas, creating deserts out of them and causing the deluge of the Lemurian continent which was depressed due to that meteoric impact. Even the Himalayan mountain originated from the ejection of lava as an inevitable reaction due to the impact of the meteor in the south. To survive the deluge, Nova built a ship which drifted to the north due to the cyclonic wind from the impact region. That ship landed on the Ararat mountain which surfaced from the draining sea. Nova and his family then moved to the northern plains, perhaps near Poland. This is what that actually happened and I would explain the sequence of events in a separate video along with proofs from various sources. Thus, the Nova's family, who were originally from the tropical region of the world, suddenly find themselves in the dark and cold place. They had to face extreme cold and living in the inhospitable new land at that time. Noah's family was made of eight people, four males and four females who were their wives. The whole of the Jewish race originated out of these eight people only. Due to the extreme struggle they had to put up in the unknown and inhospitable territory, they seem to have developed a skewed morality and a way of life. It is their skewed morality and way of life which is causing pain for the rest of the world for the past 7,500 years. How were they called Jews? Noah survived the great deluge surprisingly. Their ship did not submerge in the turbulent waters of the deluge. Any inflated body would not submerge even in turbulent waters. Hence, they called themselves proudly as inflated people. In Tamil, Udu means inflate. It was this word Udu which deformed to yield Judah. Udu, Yudu, Sudu, Jude, Judea. I have proof for this etymology of Judea. One of the twelve disciples of Jesus, who was called Thaddeus, was also called Jude as he was very fat. The twelve disciples of Jesus are nothing but the twelve alvars of Vishnu who are represented by the twelve zodiacs. Thaddeus actually refers to one of them called Kumbhakarnan who was a fat person. Thaddean is a Tamil word meaning a very fat person. Surprisingly, the symbol of Thaddeus is also a shape suggesting that the word Jude originated from Nova ship. Tamil was the original language of humanity and Nova spoke Tamil. Unlike the infamous idea that language was natural, language is actually artificial and man-made. Tamil language was developed by Shiva who initiated the first Tamil Sangam. Before Shiva, people of that era used only sign language and the only words they knew were actually the sounds that various objects made. For example, they called crow as kaka from the sound it makes. They called kakku from the sound it makes and so on. They could not name non-sounding objects and actions. It was Shiva who developed the methodology of coining various kinds of words namely nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, etc. But Tamil Sangams did not develop language alone. They developed technologies too alongside. For instance, it was Shiva who invented iron smelting technology and this was the scientific document that was called Rukh Veda. After the deluge of the Lemurian continent, Murugan reinitiated the Tamil Sangam as second Tamil Sangam about 10,500 years ago. Murugan coined lot more words of Tamil and it was he who named hydrogen gas, oxygen gas and nitrogen gas thus developing numerous technical words too. Murugan was a multifarious scientist. It was Murugan who developed trigonometry too. The second Tamil Sangam survived till the start of Mahabharata war 5000 years later. It was during this war that Saguni, the Jew, conspired and killed 
all the siddhas of tamil nation when he was losing the war this terminated the second tamil sangam and vishnu reinitiated it as a third tamil sangam roughly a thousand years later vishnu's period was about 3800 years ago it was vishnu who discovered gravitation proper and derived the equation for gravitational force to state a few all these were scientists the ancient terminology of which was siddha and the siddha attained nirvana later to become the gods please don't be shocked or bewildered by these revelations i would prove them without an iot of doubt if you follow my channel i have already done so in my tamil videos nova and his people never knew that other people also survived the deluge they were thinking that god saved them alone and hence they thought they were the chosen people when they first came to indus valley about 9000 years ago then only they understood that other civilizations also survived the deluge and not only that those civilizations were far far superior to the jews in science technology arts and philosophy etc this developed extreme jealousy in the jews on the tamils and that led to the ancient wars called ramayanam by rama about 7500 years ago and mahabharatam by saguni about 5100 years ago these jews did not come to tamil land with an army of jews each on the other hand both rama and saguni came with just a couple of assistants only but they were so venomous that they divided the native population by instigating one section of them over the other paving for the war between them and their mutual destruction even though there was a huge destruction in both these wars these kasarian jews lost both these wars and got killed here but the jews finally succeeded in the 3rd century ad when parasuram invaded tamil land he spread smallpox on tamils the disease unknown till then and during the turmoil due to the deadly disease he invaded tamil land and easily won the word turmoil is called kalavaram in tamil and hence that jewish invasion was called kalabra invasion the smallpox that parasuram spread in tamil land prior to the kalabra invasion was originally identified and produced for the first time by moses which was one of the plagues that he inflicted on the egyptian people moses inflicted the very same disease on maryam his hypothetical elder sister who is said to have opposed him as per the jewish scriptures that maryam is actually the maryamma the deity associated with the small pox in tamil nadu this maryamma happens to be the mother of parasuram according to their own scriptures even though the real history of maryamma is entirely different the jews maryamma is called jakkamma in telugu and is associated with the akki disease which is yet another name for small pox jakki vasudev the balija naidu was named after this akki disease and he was sent to tamil nadu by the brahmins to spread yet another kind of disease here do you remember that he was awarded padma vibhushan by the brahmin government he replaced the ev ramaswami naika again a balija naidu a stooge of the brahmins who also spread the devil designs of the illuminati in tamil land thus the brahmins had always been conspiring against the tamils the kalabras of parasuraman ruled tamil land for nearly 275 years it was during that time they destroyed the ancient religion asivaham that god murugan propounded 10500 years ago the kalabras did it by impaling several thousand tamil siddhas the reason for making this video is due to the pain i felt on some deadly ritual sacrifices conducted on tamil soil the jews had all along been carrying out ritual sacrifices for the devil god molech all over the world this molech is nothing but parasuram and he depicts the bull representing shiva and the fire representing murugan parasuram 
usually adorns the image of both Shiva and Muruga. Parasuram is represented as Sumadhinada, the fifth Tirthankara of Jainism, and Mahavir, the twenty-fourth Tirthankara. Sumadhinada is represented by crane. Hence, to worship Parasuram, the crane, lots of ritual sacrifices has been conducted all over the world using the metallic cranes. In 2015, on 9-11, that is September the 11, 111 people were killed when a huge crane assisting a building construction in Mecca Masjid collapsed. In the year 2020, on 2-19, that is February the 19th at 9 p.m., a crane collapsed in the sets of Indian 2 movie, killing three people by crushing them. It pays to remember that though the accident happened in February, Kamala Hassan paid 1 crore rupees each as compensation for the deceased only on the 6th August 2020, that is, 6 months after the incident, but on the very next day, following the completion of the Bhumi Puja on 5th August 2020 for Ram Temple at Ayodhya. Do you now understand the purpose of this ritual sacrifice? Again in the year 2020, on August 1, that is the 11th day of the Av month in the respective Hebrew calendar, 11 people were crushed to death while testing a new and huge crane at Vaisak port. Here, 11 represents Ravana and Indra, the enemies of Rama. The Av month in the Hebrew calendar is named after Rama and the first nine days of that month are the days of mourning and the ninth day is called Tishapav, the fasting day. It pays to remember that the Vaisak incident happened on the 11th day while on the 15th day known as Tubav, the happiest day of the Av month for the Jews, two things happened. One was the Beirut blast in Lebanon and the other was the Bhumi Puja for Ram Temple at Ayodhya. The Beirut blast in Lebanon was also related to the Bhumi Puja of Ram Temple. Hence, all these were ritual sacrifices. After we started watching for the past two years, dozens of ritual sacrifices had been conducted in Tamil Nadu alone in steady sequence. One such example, on 6-6-2022, That is, on 666, meaning Murugan, seven minor girls drowned when they were bathing in a pit in Gadilam River near Kadalur. It is like sacrificing the Saptakannis of Murugan to their devil gods. I would end this video with just one quote from Francis Bacon. The Jews have secret inbred rancor against the people with whom they are living. This quote appears in his novel, New Atlantis, written in the year 1625. This is the real nature of Jews.